name is Jeremy McCullough. Uh, this is going to be a three minute lightning talk. Um, my iPhone is there, so I can't set the timer. Uh, so, three minutes, and we're going to go through an exciting topic today. Uh, we're going to be integrating Active Directory and LDAP uh, with some PHP apps. We're going to deploy that to Windows and Zerg. Uh, we're also going to use some test driven development and some inversion control principles. Uh, unfortunately, given the limited time frame, didn't really have time to cover all that. So, instead, we're going to do an actual lightning talk. Uh, and you're thinking, really? Yeah, really. So, lightning is pretty, uh, pretty fascinating stuff. It's, it's known to strike pretty big things over in San Francisco. Uh, Hugo can tell you it's even in Paris, uh, it's the Eiffel Tower. Uh, Empire State Building, uh, I think we're all familiar with that. You Canadians are probably thinking you're pretty safe, eh? Well, not really. It even hit the CN Tower a couple of times. Uh, and then lightning also pretty much hates liberty, so it's, it's not sure you can take liberty yourself. So you're thinking, hmm, this lightning is pretty fascinating stuff, right? Um, so how big is it uh, actually? Um, is it magical? No, it's, it's actually just an atmospheric phenomenon. Uh, so we, we start making study, we're scientists, right? So let's figure out how powerful is lightning. It's approximately 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, so we, we called some people, we wanted to make sure that we can spruce it up a bit, can we do something more exciting with lightning? Oh, this guy's got a clock, that's excellent, thank you, Corey. Uh, so we need more gigawatts, so how can we, what can we do with lightning? So we, uh, we went down to the lab, we took some vinegar, we took some baking soda, we made ourselves a volcano. And then we went out to the volcano and started erupting, so things were getting pretty hairy, and the lightning came by. And it's like, holy shit, now we got this big lightning storm going on, it's got volcanic lightning, that's pretty exciting. So you're wondering how much damage is lightning deal. It's approximately three points of damage, but sometimes it's six points of damage. You've got to watch out for that trample damage, especially if you're a low power creature. Uh, and lightning was also involved in the battle of uh, 18, a, a, I think it was uh, 75. You'll have to cite me on that. I didn't check Wikipedia. Uh, but here we had uh, Zeus and uh, this guy on the right, Benjamin Franklin, was fighting uh, with some lightning there. It's also been used by some very terroristic cats and scared some of the other cats that didn't have the power of lightning. Uh, so you're thinking, well, how can I protect myself from lightning? I don't, I don't want to get tased. So instead, we consulted the Environmental Safety Board of Canada, and uh, they told us about some tips that we could prevent uh, lightning damage to ourselves. Uh, we also consulted the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and brought our towels along, because there's some good tips in there as well. Uh, so one of the main things you don't want to do is you don't want to stand outside with an umbrella with lightning storm. That's probably a good reason to get hit. You also don't want to stand under trees, because then you're going to be inviting some damage there. Uh, additionally, telephone booths are probably a bad idea, unless it's a TARDIS, in which case you can travel back in time before lightning hits you. Uh, so that was a great thing, so that was added to the Hitchhiker's Guide, and we got some good tips there to save ourselves. So what we're on, what are the odds of actually getting struck by lightning? It's approximately one in a million, uh, or in this case, infinity. So you're probably not going to get struck by lightning, but still the odds are more so than you're going to actually win the lottery. Uh, so since we're not playing the lottery and hopefully not going to get struck by lightning, let's focus on some of the brighter points of lightning. So what can, what can lightning actually do for us? Is it a friendly lightning? Uh, so we go right to Pikachu, and that's a pretty local character. There's a lot of stuffed animals, things like that. And there's also Snorlax, which is a vulnerable lightning. These guys get along great, so it's a, a nicer side of lightning. Uh, so additionally, uh, Tesla, we keep on back to this guy because he's quite a genius uh, working with this technology. And uh, we thought we do something else with lightning. Uh, so in, uh, it's about 55 seconds left, and this is 1955. Uh, so lightning struck the top power in um, Back to the Future, and we were able to harvest this energy. Uh, Doc Brown came back again, he connected to some things, we were able to get to this car and we went back in time. Similar to the TARDIS, but a slightly different vehicle. So in this case, this is excellent. We can do all these things with lightning, we can go back in time. So, moving right along. Tesla came out again, he was like, can I harvest this lightning to do anything special? Uh, so one thing he did we, after we had cell phones was we got struck by lightning and was able to recharge our cell phones. It was very helpful if you're in a storm and you have no electricity otherwise. Uh, additionally, there were some farmers out in Philadelphia and they were able to bottle the lightning and then sell it on, in the Amish farm markets. Uh, so lightning, other benefits of lightning, it's uh, pretty, pretty good looking, it strikes a pose, can hit your neighbor's house. Uh, and then one day lightning struck a rainbow, this was pretty amazing. Uh, that was when Neil Patrick Harris was born and uh, that's pretty much a true story. Thank you.